Welcome to Reno part five. This is actually the same day as part four, but I had to split it up because it was too long to uh, upload. So I had to put this in a couple different sessions. What, I, what I'm doing right now is that I've already taught him how to flex. I'm working on getting some movement beside him and also with my, my hand is slapping the saddle. When he gives nice, I'll stop everything, including letting his face go. I start out small increments and go to bigger increments. When they move, make sure you don't stop your movement because then you're releasing them when they're moving. So what you're doing is you're teaching them to move and be fearful. This is where a lot of people get into mistakes when they're training their horses. It's hard sometimes, especially when they're running and, and uh, squirreling around to stay with them, but you must stay with them and don't stop doing what you're doing when you're doing it. Only release everything when he's got all four feet planted, he's relaxed and soft. What you do on one side, you must do on the other side. Yeah, he's worse on this side over here. So I've been doing a lot more groundwork on this side, getting him quieter over here and softer. So we're going to start out again just by flexing him. He wants to lay on that just a little bit. I'll bump him and get him to flex. Sometimes they like to wait you out a little bit. Even just a little bit of a give, I'll give that to him. We're getting closer to uh, getting closer to our first ride, which is going to be pretty exciting. I'm just happy that uh, hopefully we've got most of the buck out of him. He, haven't, he has, still hasn't bucked in quite a while, so hopefully that is better. So once you get him soft, flexing, I'm going to start jumping up and down a little bit, which he was used to anyway before when I was jumping on his back, so he's used to that movement. When he, when he gives and softens his face, I'm going to stop. And you can add a little hand movement, slap in the back of the saddle. Remember when they give, stop doing exactly everything you're doing instantly. That is the key to this whole thing. To release them when they're soft and relaxed and give. So my increments with my hand is going to get a little higher and a little higher until I can go clear up there and make loud noises with the saddle. I like the fact that he's quiet, he's licking his lips. He's happy. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring his head around. Then button down. I'm going to put a little weight in that saddle now, which he's never had before. So instead of just hopping on, I'm going to take and pull that saddle down until and just start slowly and see how far you can get. Rub him for being good. He loves his eyes rubbed. You start rubbing his eyes, he falls asleep. So I'm going to hang on it until I can actually pull all my weight up, which is great. He loves his face rubbed. Easiest way to put a horse to sleep, start rubbing their face and their eyes. Horses love their eyes rubbed. I'm going to put the stirrup down about four or five notches so it's a little closer to the ground so I don't have to get clear up high on him. I'm going to start doing exactly what I've been doing. Release him when he's relaxed and soft. Rub his eyes and he's falling asleep again. <laughs> so I'm getting closer to putting that foot in the stirrup, which he's never had before, ever. I'm going to show him my leg. Sometimes horses will jump or spook when that leg comes up at him. So I'm desensitizing him to my leg right now. Now I'm going to relax, or let him be and relax a little bit. Pull my jeans up. Uh-oh. Good lord, she's getting her guns out. Oh my goodness, what a ham. 
All right, here it goes. This is the first little, ready, up, oh, done. See, that first little step right there. You don't, don't, ooh, my goodness, look at those guns. <laughs> Start with just a little bit and then get down. Let him relax and just build on that a little bit more. Get down. Let him soften, relax his face. Keep everything quiet, simple, and repetitious with horses. Up, down, step up a little farther. Up a little farther. Good. No problems. Make him flex before I actually let him go. Maybe the foot up. Jump, jump, then up. Oof. Almost up above his head there. That's pretty good. He's getting to where he really likes all the rubbins. Jump, jump, and then go up. Oh, there we go. That was good. Nice. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side that we just did. I'll let you guys listen to some music. She can ride a horse. She can shoot a gun. Does them both at the same time at a full-on run she'll start your colt and train it to do just about anything you're gonna want that horse to do she's the custom cow girl a sure enough knows how girl to get her done so you can have more fun She's a barrel racer Yeah, a can chaser When she gets bucked off She gets back on Hoping if it's hurting It won't last too long Gold buckle dreams Are coming true Back country cold starting and mounted shooting too. When she said, You sound like Chris Ledoux. I said, Hey, thanks. You know, someone ought to write a song about you. The custom cowgirl, a sure enough knows how, girl, to get her done. More fun. She's a barrel racer. Yeah, a can chaser. When she gets bucked off, she gets back on. Hoping if it's hurting, it won't last too long. Now, if she gets bucked off, she gets back on. Hoping if it's hurting, it won't last too long. Put those guns away. My goodness, girl. Well, we're getting closer and closer to being up above his head and taking our first ride. I hope you guys enjoyed that song. Pete Charles actually wrote and sang that song for me. You can check him out on Facebook. That's Pete Charles, amazing singer, songwriter. So we've done the same thing on this side as we did on the other side. We're doing small increments. Uh, I'm not a bronc rider at all, and I do not claim to be. In fact, uh, usually my brains go right at my butt when I go to for a bronc ride. So the more times you hit the ground, by gosh, the better your groundwork gets. And my groundwork, by gosh, <clears throat> is pretty darn good. So we're getting closer. He's a lot more relaxed. We're getting close to that first ride. It's going to be nice and quiet. Oh, look at that. Big grin. All that groundwork was definitely worth this part. I hope you guys enjoyed part five. Ta-da! Have a blessed day.